Mad Mechanics. I'm Drew, a Mad Mechanic myself, and today we're here to discuss Sterling Engines. Give me a second, we'll put this down and we can get started. Try to make sure where the dimple of the balloon is kind of in the middle. So you take your screw. I was using six by 32, two inch screw. The number six by 32 with a two inch screw. You wanna take your screw and go like this, and then just make a, while you have it stretched, all you have to do is just touch it lightly to where it'll go through. You don't need a big hole, you just need it to be like a very small hole to stretch it through. Then you put your other washer on the other side of the balloon. On my other free pistons I have, I use like different gaskets and stuff in between the balloon also, it's just from heat. Sometimes it'll tend to melt the balloon. So I usually use a gasket in between also. You can get rubber gaskets to put in between if you want. Just the extra support to protect your balloon. Now the Phillips head, you want to just tighten down. I use a wire. It's just any wire. You can get like a lot of these items you can get from like a Home Depot or a Lowe's, any hardware store. You just want the wire to go around the ring of the balloon at the top to secure that no, that ensures no air will be passing by. Like that. If you're following along with me, it'll be very easy to get your sterling running. Here, what I did here is where there's gonna be going through, you wanna puncture a small hole in the lid that's gonna be going into the top of your engine. So you just wanna puncture a small hole so that you can get the screw to pass through. See how easy that turns? So you want it to be able to pass through. So then what you're gonna do is once you know that that hole is good, like that moving that easily and freely, you wanna take a bolt, actually a nut rather, make sure it's about five to six millimeters in length of space. So you put your nut, you put another washer, and then once you know that this is running that smoothly into a thread, like where it makes a thread out of it, then you can go ahead and adjust it where you want it to be. You want five to six millimeters And you can install there into your piston. Make sure she's all the way flat, all the way around. Make sure she's flush. insert your piston into your engine like so and the same idea make sure it's totally flat now I would suggest using your fingers to do this because like I said the can is sharp so but I'm a mad mechanic so I don't always take the easy way out yeah. and a bolt. First let's put this washer. Then a, first you put a metal washer, then a rubber washer. So you know that's gonna seal. And the hole that you made through the diaphragm, you can go ahead and run your bolt through that hole. Still gonna run if you don't use two big pliers to tighten this down. I usually just put them hand tight because when I'm ready to replace the balloon again, it's easy to get off. 
There you go there, that's your finished product. And now you can go ahead and install it. Just work your way around and try to get her to roll to the top. And there you go, there you have it. Now, for weight, I always add the extra bolt because too light or too much is not gonna run, but basically, it's gonna be not enough weight that's gonna keep it from running. If it's not enough weight, it's not gonna run right. More weight is better than not enough weight. So I have these magnets here just in case. I'm gonna just use this piece of spare tape I had here. And I'm gonna put her right at the top as even as possible this is our last step folks There you have it, free piston. And if you're building her with me, she's gonna run no problems. Now, only thing I suggest is you build a little heat trap because as the heat's coming up, it does get hot. So you wanna build a heat trap like to where the heat will stay in the vicinity and then you'll be able to run it. Or you can build just a cooler, the heat trap here and the cooler at the top so you could actually pour in uh, a liquid like, you know, some water, some ice, something to keep the top colder and the bottom because this is the hot piston here well actually i'm sorry this is the cold piston here and the hot piston is inside so you want to keep it cooler if you can so if you just build a cooler tank it'll have it running colder temperatures but let's go ahead and start her up and get her running so if you built her with me you can go ahead and get your heat source ready Just add this ahead of time. shouldn't take too long just to get her running. So she still wants to run, but just has better control with the... Well, she's trying to jump out of the heat trap. 
a lot of power, a lot of pressure. Well, that's about it. I want to thank you for watching this video on this build and thank you for staying with me. Please make sure you smash the subscribe button, hit the like, and add in comments below. And we're out, man, mechanics. Peace.